Hey, what's up guys? It's a Saints fan and welcome back to another episode of Monday Mailbox. This is a series where you guys ask me questions either about GTA or gaming in general and I give you guys my opinions. If you want to ask a question for next week's episode, then send me a message over YouTube with the subject title Monday Mailbox or just leave your question in the comment section. Also, if you do enjoy the series, definitely go ahead and leave a like on it. Anyway, getting into the first question from Uber Fansworth. He says, hey, first of all, I love your vids. Keep up the good work. Second, since there might be a Lottery Casino DLC, do you think we might be able to rob the casino and maybe next gen rob it just like the two or just like the general stores? Get in, get the cash and get out. Um, that would be awesome. I mean, I I've said it before, if the heist when they come out, if it's sort of like integrated into the game, I mean, I don't think it will be in, in like free roam. That would be awesome. I don't, unfortunately, I don't think it will be. Um, but yeah, for next gen, if they were to add a casino, and I said this before, you know, I want them to add more buildings that we can rob. And, you know, I think the uh, the gas stations, stuff like that, if you kill a guy, you get three stars. If you don't, you only get two stars. Well, maybe for the casino, regardless, you get four stars. And if you start killing a bunch of people, you get five stars. And you had to escape that. And uh, it would make it a lot more fun. Plus, obviously, you would get more money depending on how long you were in there. And I wouldn't really call it a heist because you wouldn't necessarily have, like, an entire team with you to hack into something or or whatever the case may be but maybe instead of the actual like vault inside of the casino you're just robbing like all the people maybe or or just the people or like I guess the cash registers or whatever else you know is in a casino that has money maybe there's even like slot machines and stuff and you can like shoot them money comes out I don't know I think that'd be definitely a really cool idea that Rockstar could add and I'm hoping the stuff that they do add it's like casinos and like other buildings for next gen will um, have some sort of use to them instead of just, you know, being able to go in them. Moving into the next question from Cameron Rooney. He says, hey Saints fan, normally I don't message YouTubers, but I have a couple questions on GTA. First, how long do you think that GTA will be popular? Secondly, how much do you think payouts on heists will be? And finally, how expensive do you think mansions will be when they are released? Let's start from the third question and go backwards. So, mansions, if they are ever released, I would say probably a million dollars i know that maybe a lot maybe like seven hundred thousand it might be the lowest but you guys saw the the apartments that we just got or a couple pa or yeah a couple patches ago or updates ago they were five hundred thousand dollars so and those were the same apartments pretty much with a a slightly different um you know layout so definitely if we're in the mansions although the car spaces might not be the same but you know if they were to add mansions it's just because they are a mansion it would cost a lot of money as for the heist payouts, I said it before, I don't know, man. It, it's going to fluctuate most probably on what job, so there's no definitive answer. And then the first question, how long do you think GTA will be popular? It's going to be popular as long as Rockstar can deliver. I mean, I know right now it's kind of boring, but let's be honest. There's not too many other games out right now that are, you know, going to take over your time. And I know this coming fall when, you know, there's the, the Battlefield, there's Call of Duty, even though, like, those games not many people play anymore. But, you know, there's a uh, Destiny coming out. There's a bunch of other games coming out that, that may, you know, take the people from GTA. And, if, and unless Rockstar can um, release something that makes them come back to GTA, then it's going to be, it's not going to be as popular as it is now. Now, granted, next gen, heist, casino, all that stuff's going to help. But the longevity of it, you know, will it, will it make people stay? If they make GTA Online into sort of like an RPG, now, granted, it's not going to be a full-on RPG because that's just not how GTA is. But if they made it more of an RPG where, like, you had jobs and you had certain stuff, you know, other than just the missions, I guess. I don't know. I think people would, would play it more. But, again, you know, who knows what's going to happen. But, yeah, GTA is going to be popular as long. I mean, and plus you got mods, too, on PC. That's, that's going to make GTA 5 popular forever. GTA 4 is still popular on PC because of the awesome mods that you can have so you know that that's why GTA is that's why I'm so excited for it on PC because you know mods will will make it last forever man so so yeah that's the uh, that's that's my thoughts the next question from I'm Yoshi he says he Saints fan I have a question from Monday mailbox on the character swap menu there are five slots and three of them are locked do you think they will ever be unlocked if so do you think just for more random characters or single-player characters maybe I've actually, I've actually talked to some of my friends about this. It is kind of odd that they do have three slots in, at this point in the game and they're not unlocked. One of my friends was saying that 
possibly they're saving one of those slots for like if there was a police DLC so you could have like a police character you know instead of just making the character you have now which is like a criminal or whatever and, and making him a car or a policeman or joining the police force you could have a separate character as like a noble character and, and joining the police force so that's one option as for the other two slots I honestly don't know I mean I wish they would let us use those slots because I would definitely love to make, you know, new characters just to just to make some, you know, look new or look different or something like that. You know, it'd be nice. I mean, I know I'd have to level them up again, but still, I mean, I really, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, you know, what do you think those, those three slots are for? Maybe they are for DLC characters in the future. I mean, that'd be pretty cool if you could, you know, play as... Michael Franklin or anybody else really in in single player but in online you know that'd be pretty cool but again who knows I don't know what Rockstar's grand plan is with the uh with leaving those spots locked but I guess we'll have to wait and see and then finally this one's not really a question but it is kind of long and I want to clear this up because a lot of people and a lot of you guys were kind of um mad about the whole fireworks issue or the firework launcher issue and, uh, no, granted, I don't know if this guy's message is real. I mean, I I'm assuming it is because it looks pretty real. But, um, basically, he emailed Rockstar and, um, they got back to him about the fireworks launcher. And, as you see, their response was, Thanks for your email. The fireworks launcher is a special holiday item and does not function like a traditional weapon. Once purchased, the launcher will be owned permanently and will remain in your inventory during non-holiday periods. As long as you have special fireworks ammo in possession, outside of designated holiday periods, the weapon will be hidden in your inventory once your fireworks ammo has been depleted. The fireworks launcher along with its ammo will be available again during the holidays and other special events when fireworks are traditionally let off. At the beginning of any holiday or special event where fireworks are available, players who purchased the weapon will previously receive one free full refill of ammo per qualifying event in order to make sure players can celebrate. So I guess that is Rockstar's take on this, but one thing, and we'll have to see how it plays out because Garrett, a lot of you guys know him, um, he actually, he came up with this idea. They're leaving in a deathmatch that basically you only use firework launchers in. It was actually, I think it was one of the Rockstar verified jobs and we actually played it on live stream the other day. But if they leave that in the game, all we need to do is play that mission, you know, run over all the fireworks and then get ammo for it or if somebody even makes missions that have fireworks you know i'm pretty sure that although they're going away i don't think at least if you bought it i think there still will be ways to get ammo for it so again we'll have to wait and see but um but yeah i think that's what we're gonna have to do if we want ammo instead of buying it we're just gonna have to like go into a death match and then pick up ammo which i mean look that's fine with me but yeah i just wanted to clear that up because a lot of people were kind of mad about the whole firework launcher issue Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to leave a question for next week's episode, let me know in the comment section or send me a message over YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's see if we can hit over 2,000 likes. But as always, it's your boy Singers Fan. I'm over.